uh, wow. Jake Paul, I mean, as of right now, for what he's doing, it's good for what he's doing. But once he fights a real actual real fighter, I don't like it. Is it because of the... Jay, I, I look at Mike, it's like, I look at him different. Floyd Mayweather recently weighed in on the highly anticipated showdown between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, offering his expert analysis that garnered attention from fans and pundits alike. Someone you're interested in or, or no? Well, you know, if you go back, um, you gotta uh, do your homework, look on the internet. I think he was doing, he was doing a sit down on a podcast one time and he talked about it. He said, um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do an exhibition. But one, but one thing I like about him, one thing I do like, like about him, He's, he's selling it. He's selling it and he's making good money and he's... In a recent Snapchat post, Mike Tyson issued a stark warning to Jake Paul, sharing a close-up image of himself drenched in sweat with the caption, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face, a nod to his famous quote about the unpredictability of combat. Additionally, Tyson posted a photo of himself training on the pads with the caption, all eyes on me. According to Tyson's coach, Rafael Cordiero, the fight is anticipated to be more focused on technique rather than a one-sided brawl, suggesting that Paul will certainly feel the weight of Tyson's powerful punches. The upcoming fight won't be a one-sided beatdown, instead, it's expected to be a highly technical bout. We're dealing with an opponent who knows how to box and isn't backing down. Cordiero elaborated that Paul's likely reaction in the ring would be panic, which Tyson welcomes. With Tyson's powerful punches, it's inevitable that Paul will feel the impact. This will give us a sense of how the fight will unfold. On the other hand, Jake Paul has cheekily promised to retaliate against Tyson by invoking the infamous ear-biting incident. I'm going to bite your ear off, Paul quipped, referencing Tyson's past disqualification for biting Holyfield's ear. Paul believes he can handle Tyson's power, adding an intriguing dynamic to the fight. He acknowledges Tyson as his toughest opponent yet, emphasizing the enduring significance of power in boxing, regardless of age. Paul's recent training footage drew criticism from fans, fueling the ongoing feud between the Paul brothers and Floyd Mayweather. The rivalry stems from Logan Paul's debut fight against Mayweather in 2021. Tensions flared between Jake Paul and Mayweather the previous year during a heated altercation outside an arena where they both attended a Miami Heat versus Cleveland Cavaliers game. Who are you supposed to be? I'm, I'm just working, man. What happened? You're not tough anymore? Since your loss? What happened since your loss? Yo, we gonna bust him up, guys? I told you before, put that Yo, let's bust him up. Where you running, Jake? Where you going since your fight? Since you lost? What's up, Jake? Logan Paul revealed on the Graham Bensinger show that Mayweather still holds a grudge against Jake. He mentioned that Jake hasn't been without a security guard since the incident, implying Mayweather's influence. The tension between Jake and Mayweather was evident in a previous altercation where Jake snatched Mayweather's hat. Absolutely. 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 Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Get the paperwork for this bug. Get, get Al Hammond. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I don't need Al Hammond. Let me call Al Hammond. I'm my Let's own boss. Make it I'm my own boss. One night. Got your hat. During a discussion about the hat stealing incident, Logan revealed that Jake had told him about his plan beforehand, but Logan didn't think Jake would actually go through with it. He felt that Jake's actions put him at risk, considering the potential consequences just a month before the biggest moment of his life. Logan expressed concern about getting injured or beaten up by Floyd's security team. Meanwhile, in an interview with Steve Farhood on Showbox Iron, Mike Tesson named Floyd Mayweather as his dream opponent across all eras, expressing his desire to have fought him. Tyson expressed his wish for Mayweather to be in his weight class, acknowledging the impossibility due to the weight difference. However, he emphasized that if they were to fight, he wouldn't approach it the same way others did. Tyson explained his strategy, stating he would be mean and dirty, considering Mayweather's exceptional skills. He criticized Mayweather's comparison to Muhammad Ali, labeling Mayweather as delusional for claiming superiority. He, he, he's very delusional. He can't listen. Um, if, he, if he was anywhere near that, um, that realm of Grand Ali, he'd be able to take his to school by himself. Okay, he can't take, he can't take his kid to school by himself. And he's talking about he's great. Greatness is not guarding yourself from the people. Greatness is being accepted by the people. He can't take his kids alone to, to school by himself. Returning to the Tyson versus Paul fight, Roy Jones Jr., 
a prominent figure in the boxing world who once faced Tyson in a 2020 exhibition match, expressed his belief in Tyson's ability to defeat Paul. He remarked, when I boxed him, he still punched like Mike Tyson. If he hits anybody square on the chin, it's going to be problematic. I don't care who it is. Jones, acknowledging Jake Paul's skill and character, highlighted Tyson's enduring striking power. Reflecting on his own bout with Tyson, Jones emphasized that anyone receiving such blows would face difficulties, including a younger opponent like Paul. Jones also commented on the promotional aspect of the fight, expecting it to draw significant viewership, especially now that it's upgraded to a real fight. Despite Tyson's age and inactivity, which have raised doubts about the bout, Jones believes it presents a compelling opportunity for both Tyson and Paul. However, not everyone shares Jones' enthusiasm. Bernard Hopkins, a multiple world champion, expressed reservations about Tyson facing Paul. Hopkins, who holds Tyson in high regard as a legend and one of the best boxers ever, believes Tyson deserves immense respect. He described the fight as less exciting, comparing it to watching Turtles race, indicating his disinterest in the spectacle. Hopkins criticized the evolving situation as resembling more of a sideshow, dismissing it as unappealing even with some sweat and potential blood. He firmly stated his preference for more engaging matchups, indicating his disappointment with the direction the sport seems to be heading. I, I don't like it. I think it's become more of a sideshow. With some sweat, maybe some blood, if we're lucky. I won't watch it. No. I, I, I... Hopkins viewed the current scenario as tarnishing Tyson's esteemed legacy. While acknowledging the potential financial gains for Tyson, Hopkins felt it contradicted the respect owed to Tyson's past accomplishments. He elaborated, It's about how I perceive Mike Tyson. I've not only shared the ring with him multiple times but also the era he represents. It's a nod to that era. However, earning 100 or 200 million is fine. A notable figure in combat sports issued a challenge to Jake Paul before his anticipated boxing match against the legendary Mike Tyson. When asked about his ideal opponent for a bare-knuckle brawl, Mike Perry wasted no time in mentioning Jake Paul, while also cautioning about the dangers of facing Tyson. Perry remarked, If Jake Paul manages to hurt Mike Tyson, I want in on that action. Reports from TMZ indicated Perry's history as one of Paul's sparring partners prior to his bout against Ben Ezrin in 2021. Despite Perry's admiration for Tyson, he expressed a willingness to seek vengeance against the 57-year-old if harmed. In addition, Perry mentioned his reluctance to engage in bare-knuckle fighting, but he wouldn't underestimate Jake Paul, noting Paul's tendency to confront challenges others shy away from. Perry bluntly acknowledged the appeal of bare-knuckle fighting due to its perceived risks and the reactions it elicits from others. Perry threw down the gauntlet, challenging Jake to a street fight if he manages to best Tyson. If Jake can get through Mike Tyson, let's see him prove himself in a real test, Perry declared. Acknowledging Jake's talent, Perry cast doubt on the caliber of his opponents, quipping, let's see if I can beat him as quickly as he's dispatching those taxi drivers, especially in bare knuckle. I'll make him regret it, watch him whimper, flee, and curl up in a corner like a scared child, no matter the outcome. The upcoming bout highlights the dynamic landscape of combat sports, blending entertainment, legacy, and the quest for excellence in intricate and sometimes contentious ways. And with that, we wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon for more content in the future.